for tenant 10 continues with story number four now. A local lawmaker wants to add more rental protections for small businesses in California. A key bill would actually change the way landlords do business with micro businesses, small restaurants and nonprofits. On your side's Christine Lazar explains how. Back in April, 43% of small business renters in the U.S. were unable to pay their full rent on time, according to a report by Alignable. And trade organization Cameo tells me that rent hikes, difficult to understand lease terms, and hidden fees are crippling, especially to minority-owned small businesses. DeAndrea Jones is the owner of Jamaican Eatery Wagwan in Lamert Park. She opened her doors in 2020 and four years and a pandemic later, she is still struggling to keep her doors open while keeping her food affordable. Goods has gone up, the rent has gone up, the cab has gone up and everything has gone up. CAM or common area maintenance fees are like HOA dues for business owners who rent. They cover things like landscape and building repairs. Jones's CAM fees have gone up 66% in the last year. The profit margin is already small because everything has gone up. So now with that extra cost, that could be employing an extra employee per month, you know, um, that can be put in towards the bills. It's small business owners like Jones that State Senator Caroline Menjavar is concerned about. I represent a city of Burbank and majority of the San Fernando Valley. And in my district, which I can assume is the same in many other areas of California, the bread and butter are small businesses. Menjavar now wants more rent protections for those small businesses. She authored Senate Bill 1103, which would do three things for them. Require landlords to give 60 days notice if they want a business to move out or want to raise the rent more than 10 percent. Mandate that their lease is provided to them in their native language. And finally, landlords would need to provide documentation of the breakdown of costs when CAM fees are increased. Because what we're seeing right now are the landlords increase certain maintenance fees without documentation. And some tenants say, hey, I have to pay more money, but I don't see anything getting fixed around my areas. Not all businesses would qualify for these proposed protections. Just micro businesses with less than five employees, restaurants with a staff of no more than 10, and nonprofits with 20 employees or less. The California Business Properties Association opposes the bill, saying that it introduces vague and burdensome regulations that will deter landlords from leasing to new businesses, and it could lead to higher operational costs for landlords, discouraging them from maintaining their properties. This bill tries to take some of the protections that are given to you and I as residential tenants uh, and applying those to the business context and the commercial real estate. And that doesn't really work. This is video of rain damage inside Adelita Valentine's barbershop in Echo Park. She says the landlord refused to fix it and that he then raised her rent $400 a month with just a week's notice, something that the proposed bill would make illegal. Our rent is going up and we have to charge more to just to make the rent and then now people aren't showing up because they don't have the money to pay more for their haircuts and if my business which is a community hub we're a barber shop if if we're failing my customers aren't going to have places like this to go to Valentine is now moving out to another more affordable location. The bill will go to committee tomorrow and it could be voted on as soon as August. Christine Lazar, KCAL News.